Hi students, this is Alex here. In this problem, they have given find analytic function f of z in which they have given the imaginary part and we have to find the real part. Now, imaginary part is given. This is our v. v is e power 2x into x cos 2y minus y sin 2y. Now, as the first part, we are going to find vx, that is the partial derivative with respect to x. So, we are going to follow the product rule. So, we keep this as one term and this as the another term. So, first term differentiation is e power 2x into 2 and the second term entirely is kept as it is. Now, we keep the first term as it is, which is e power 2x and derivative of the second term, here cos 2y is a constant, x to the derivative is 1. So, cos 2y stays as it is and this is fully constant, so it is 0. Now, we are going to find py, again product rule, now with respect to y we are going to do, but anyway this is a constant, so no need to use any product rule, we keep this term as it is and we differentiate this, so here x is a constant and cos 2y is minus sin 2y into 2 minus bracket open, here we have to use product rule for y and sin 2y, so derivative of y is 1 and sin 2y we keep as it is and plus we keep y as it is and this is cos 2y into 2. Now as the next part we are going to find vx of z comma 0 wherever x is there we are going to substitute as z. So e power 2z into 2 and here this is z into cos 0 is 1 and sin 0 is 0, so every term is 0 and again here e power 2z into 1. So totally if we take e power 2z common, so the remaining term will be 2z plus 1. Now in the same way we are going to find vy of z comma 0. So here this first part will be e power 2z and here sin y when I put y as 0 the entire term is 0 and here it is 0 and here we have a minus sign and we have y so the whole term becomes 0 so vy is completely 0 now f of z is u plus iv and f dash of z becomes ux plus ivx. Now using CR equations we know ux equal to vy and uy equal to minus vx. Since we have vx and vy we are going to change this as vy using the CR equation. So f dash of z becomes vy plus i v x and by milne thompson method f of z becomes integral p y of z comma 0 d z plus i integral v x of z comma 0 d z. Now coming to the substitution v y is 0 so the first term is 0 plus i integral vx is e power 2z into 2z plus 1. So e power 2z into 2z plus 1 into dz. So we got our f of z and we are going to continue this integration and this integration we have to do integration by parts. We have product of two terms. Using the integration by parts we have to choose what are the two terms present one is the exponential, other is the algebraic. So which comes first is taken as u, that is u is 2z plus 1 
and dv is e power 2z into dz. From u we have to find du which is 2 dz and from this we have to find v by integration e power 2z by 2. Now when I substitute the formula is uv minus integral v du. So 2z plus 1 into e power 2z by 2 minus integral e power 2z by 2 into 2 dz. After cancelling this, we get e power 2z by 2. So the first term is written as it is, which is e power 2z by 2 minus this after integration e power 2z by 2. By taking e power 2z by 2 common, we get 2z plus 1 and here it is minus 1. And we also have plus c. After cancelling this, even this is in a product, we can cancel this. So finally, f of z becomes e power 2z into z plus c. Now, to find the real part u, we are going to write in terms of x and y and before that there is a i term here which is common for the entire term so we have to write that i outside of this entire term and finally we get i into the rest of the terms so this is i into and still we have that i here so it is i e power 2z into z now so this becomes u plus iv that is f of z is u plus iv this is i e power 2 into x plus i y and z is again x plus i y and we have plus c further rearranging this we get this as e power 2x plus 2i y into x plus i y plus c and this is i into e power 2x into e power 2i y so we write i into 2y and again this is x plus i y we have and we have plus c we are going to apply the formula when we have e power i theta which is cos theta plus i sin theta by Euler's formula so this becomes i into e power 2x as it is bracket open cos 2y plus i sin 2y along with that we have x plus i y and plus c now this is i into e power 2x we keep it separately we are going to expand this by multiplying these two terms with these two terms. So this is x cos 2y plus i y cos 2y plus i x sin 2y. i square is minus 1 so minus y sin 2y and we are going to separate the real part and the imaginary part before that we take the terms without i that is x cos 2y minus y sin 2y this is separate and let's take a separate bracket and e power 2x and the term with i we shall keep the i outside so these two terms are with i and we have to write that one so one is y cos 2y plus x sin 2y. Now the outside i when I multiply here this becomes i into e power 2x into x cos 2y minus y sin 2y. i square is minus 1 so minus e power 2x into y cos 2y plus 
x sin 2y. Now the other side we have u plus iv. Since we need the real part, we take u as the term without i on the other side. So this entire term. So the real part becomes minus e power 2x into y cos 2y plus x sin 2y. So this is our required real part.